Hello and welcome to today's training. Today we'll be doing an update to the video I made some years ago. So a couple of years ago, I made a model using the ArcGIS AdSense. So um, today we'll be making an update to that video. All right. So um, basically, I the previous video I used point data i use total station to carry out the survey then i digitize the whole point and then but today i'm going to be using satellite imagery this is a sas planet imagery acquired um today yeah so it comes to your reference so yeah it's a georeference um satellite imagery so i have done some so I'll just quickly run through so that we can have an understanding. So basically, you'll be learning digitizing on this. So you pick your editor tool and then you start it and then you come to your create future tools and then you click on the building. So I'll use rectangle tool. All right, so I'll be, we'll be learning the digitizing part. So the 2D now, which is the arc map, so the arc map will help us to digitize and get us the 2D that we use for the modeling in AdSense. Okay, so just follow me. This chemical engineering, if I'm not mistaken. So um, going back to peak, I will use the polygon tool now to get this. Since I'll be picking it's small small to come up with that curve there. So Okay, so um, I'll just put big few to add to what we have already. And let me see if there's another thing I need to pick on the other side. Okay, let me add few of this Alex Hostel. Rebadu and Alex, just part of it, not the whole hostel anyway. So, um, yeah, let me pick this Amina just to add it to what we want to model. Okay, so um I think okay let's pick this i don't know where this is well i think
So I think this is enough. So we will not stop editor, then we'll go to attribute table of this. So we have um quite a number of this um whole stuff. So but then we'll just quickly give them you are going to assign them, you know, these ones we've done have assigned them already. So the number of floors, like how many story it is, that's what it means. So we assign 16, 16, we assign ABU, 60 story, the, that's the standard building. Assign a kill library, 30 story building and all that. So let's assign some to these ones also. Let's assign four, six, two, three, seven, eight. Uh, it's just a random assignment. Okay, so that we could achieve what we want to achieve. Five, four, Nine, eight, six, five, eleven, thirteen, ten, and lastly, um, two. So we've assigned all value to the point we just digitized now. So um, we'll now save edit. Uh, so you can save it. So all these edit have been, everything we've done have been saved. So we'll proceed to action so that we can model this. Okay, so. You turn off your accent, mine is already open so and then you add data as usual that you add on arches so I'll first add the uh, satellite imagery we use so I'll add that then I will add the point the the digitizing we just did that the building now I'll add it on this but now that it's added now the next thing I will do is I'm going to right click on the building uh, tab then I'll go to properties. On these properties I'll go to symbology. Okay so on symbology I'm going to category so I'll just categorize them uh, by their names. So they are going to be quite plenty. The idea is so that I can have each one with the color ramp okay so i'm going to add all of them all right so then i will okay so all of them is going they are going to come up with their different colors though it's related to each other anyway so the next thing i'm going to do is to right click on the building again and go to properties and then on the properties i'm going to go to extrusion so I will check this extrusion button here. Then if I have only one, let's say I want everything here. This is now the update. If I only want all of them to have the same number of floors. So I will say, let's say all of them to be 10 floors. So I'll just write 10 here. Um, If I say, okay, you know, normally we we'll say three meters times 10, that will give us like 30. So I will say 30. So if I apply now, all of them will raise, will rise by themselves automatic. Okay. But that's not what we want to do. All right. So we apply it back so that they can all go back. Okay. So it's not going to do that. But then what we want to do is. You remember the tab we had? 
So let's also go to properties here so that you understand what I want to do. So here we have the number of floors and each of these floors have been stated, all right? So that's what we want to use. So we go back, go to properties, and then we click on this, and then we say we're going to use this field, we're going to use the number of floors. So then we load it up, okay, and then we okay. So now you see, all of them are loaded. Senate building is showing us with the 30 floors. Now we have, the first ground floor actually the abu senate building sorry i'm coming the abu senate building is this one the first floor is one story then the rest is seven stories so this is how it is modeled but then i had to to make it we have to exaggerate the extrusion so i, I exaggerated this to be 10 floors and then this to be 50 floors, making it a 60 floor skyscraper. So I exaggerated Chile's building, Chile Library, that is uh, Kashim uh, Ibrahim Library. It's just about uh, two floors. I exaggerated it to be 30 floors. The purpose of the exaggeration is so that you can understand the way the model is. So this is Katangora Square, they are just buildings for and it's a convocation square so it's not extrusion this assembly hall so you can see that everything is extruded to um the dimension we've used so this can also be exported through a format called collada that you can use it also in um you can use also in uh what's the name of the software you can use it in sketchup then produce the 3D photorealistic drawings of these models and then also bring it back to ArcGIS. But then that's a story for another day. For, for now, it's just the model we want to produce. So I think this brings us to the end of this tutorial for today. So you drop your um, comments, observations at the comment section and what I'm to. And you don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification button so that every day as I upload new content, you be the first to be notified. Alright, so for now, I send my love and bye-bye.